Hello, hello, welcome. I'd like to start off with a huge thank you to everyone who sent me information, links, pictures, background checks. That was awesome and I really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank ACRE Commercial Realty for your such an awesome, generous donation. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I didn't have any contact information and then I saw your comment and I don't want you to think that I wasn't very appreciative and I loved every, I'm so grateful. Um, and so I just looked on PayPal, found your name and want to give you a shout out and a huge thank you. And if you email me, I'd love to send you a thank you card just for being so thoughtful and awesome. The next one, Janice Link, thank you, thank you. And I'd also like to say, I saw a few comments asking for readings. The link is in the bio, but it's also really easy. It's bio.site. That might not be that easy to remember, but the link's in the bio or link's in the everywhere, literally. And if you just cash at me, then I'll shoot you an email or a text and we'll coordinate a time. I'll do the recording and send it to you or it'll send you right over to a calendar if I'm already booked out. So get your 2222 readings. They're express readings, quick in and out, and then I will send you the link. Next thing. One of our wonderful, beautiful friends sent me an email because she comes from a family. It sounds probably very Italian. It reminds me of like the movies, but she wanted to explain her family had a brothel and explain what the setup was. She said I could name her, but it doesn't, I don't name anyone. So if you want to please tag yourself in this. I would love it. If you don't, I would 100% agree. I don't need, I really, I'm not really into that, but she said I could name her. She's one of our beautiful, wonderful friends. So she wanted to, this is the email. I wanted to tell you more about the brothel that my aunt runs. I didn't want to, okay. My grandfather started the massage parlor in the 70s. Everyone knew what it really was. It was a brothel. Oh, and if you haven't seen the short, I think one of, um, there was a comment about that clip, which is hilariously awesome that I found it because as soon as everyone started wiping everything, we started saving it all. So I was working on a different thing and found it. Nice little Freudian slip. The residents, everyone knew what it was. The residents wanted to shut it down, but no matter what they did, it was untouchable. The cops, the feds, they all knew what it was. Some were on the payroll. Sounds familiar. Hmm. My grandfather was known as the Snow Kingpin. So we already know that there were rugs coming in and out. They tried so hard to get him on anything, and eventually they got him on tax evasion, tax evasion of all things. That's what they did with Al Capone, too. But that place was and still is like Fort Knox. They know who the regulars are and who might be an undercover. Trust me, politicians, city leaders. Hmm. How about school presidents? <laughs> uh, pastors? Hmm. <laughs> all in the name of God, um, have been there and my aunt keeps it all very quiet. She also has evidence that would destroy them. Hmm. Hmm. It's crazy. I have been there a few times to see my aunt and talk to her about things. I know the whole layout. She once asked me to be the security camera girl. I said El Pass, but I'd sit there in the living room. It's behind a double-sided mirror so we can see out and no one can see in and chat with her. That's also where the security sits and talks to people who ring the front doorbell when they and then they buzz them in. When the bell would ring, all the ladies would stand in the line in front of the double-sided mirror and the client would then pick out who he wanted. These were ladies of all ages and they want this lifestyle for the money. I've never, okay. The other part that she also mentioned 
was that some of it's not in that one email, but some of the girls lived there and some of them didn't. OK, we're building a little bit of a case. Doesn't seem quite so far fetched. I also would like to. OK, awesome. So we can thank one of our lovely friends. If I'm not really big on naming people and I know you said I could. And if we're still into that, then I can tag you or I'll name it next time. Next thing. We have a conundrum, shocker, and this is another shout out to one of our lovely, beautiful friends who sent me two, we have two different birth dates on Sienna's background check. Well, 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 we are running into a conundrum finding these kids and I'm concerned. And the reason I'm concerned is because if they don't exist, that is a mind that I am not ready for. <laughs> I had also heard probably in our comments or on TikTok that a, a young man, not a boy, boy are children, kids are children. No, kids are anyone between now, like, born before like 1948. Ethan is not on any search of any background, no deeds. Maisie or Mazzy, trash bucket, is not on anything. There are no triplets on Stacy or Jim's background checks. That's concerning. Xana, who might be Zanny the Nanny, might be real, I don't know, has two different birthdays. And it's not like a day or two. I get that, you know, fill out something wrong. I don't know, but they're four years apart. That's concerning. Xana and Ethan are the two that we've really deep dived on. We're giving a voice to the other dad. He's in here. Say hi to everyone. We love you. We, there's a gag order, so he can't do his speaking, and we have found patterns. And I do love him because he's not psycho. And so we're working on a project to give you a voice. Don't worry, we've got you. So I don't know what kind of conundrum we just ran into. And I'm going to go on the good faith side that this wasn't the whole propaganda and persuasion to the United States and poor BK who's been in jail for over 500 and something days they can't it. so that's where we are those are the updates I want to read on Xana anyway we also have a couple of questions that I saw in the comments and one of them is the John O'Keefe why did they beat him up and if you're on the side of the Commonwealth. This probably isn't going to be a fun place. And if you're one of the psycho moms, you don't worry. We're not going after you or your children. That's coming. And I am not joking. And I can't wait. There's six minutes missing on some of the videos going around. And you know what I'm talking about. So we, today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. So we have activities this afternoon. There was a question to look into Noah Pressgrove. I didn't get a link. I didn't look him up. Please, I would love to. I'll be more than happy to look up anyone or do missing persons, anything. I've worked with police to help solve other things. So I'd be more than happy to help if we have a missing person. The John O'Keefe Y. And I know there are mediums who perhaps are in here. Who are getting these kids? I personally have not, and I've never had that before, and I have a 100% success rate, so we'll leave that there. And I don't know if Ethan and Zanna are not on any government document, which since the 1920s, we have been very diligent. Everyone has a birth certificate. Everyone becomes property. That's a whole nother discussion. 
I don't know. What does that mean to you? Like, to me, that is the biggest hoax besides the moon landing that I'd also ask about all the mediums that are picking them up. What are they picking up? Are there other kids in the area? Like, I saw a comment that one of the kids in the area, that's a kid. That doesn't mean child. Child is a child. Anyone younger than my parents is a kid. There was a kid, I think his name was Ethan. He died in the area. I don't know. But that is raising huge red flags for me. I mean, that goes without saying. Everyone else has a background. Any of the guys that were, and they happen to be men, except for the trash bucket mother. (laughs) She has her own problems. All have everyone that we think of. If you think of... The ex-boyfriend, who, in my very limited <clears throat> police knowledge, I'm not speaking as an expert, but I have common sense, start close, latest person to break up is in Africa. He happens to be, all of his stuff is all lined up, buttoned up. It's all right there. So I'm concerned. And I'm just throwing it out there to be transparent and just tell you guys I don't know what to think I'm curious what you guys think and if you're a psycho mom leave your opinion at the door unless you can behave like an adult then I'd love it so what we're going to do I'm going to pause you guys start the cards we're going to ask John O'Keefe why and perhaps look into Xana. I did look at her background check we have two different ones with two birthdays one says 20 one says 24 that's concerning Highly concerning. Ethan doesn't even have one. Ethan and Maisie aren't on any of the Chapin's other stuff. All of the stepbrothers, all of that stuff there. Doug Wilson, whole family's there. I don't know if that's polygamy, polygamy or not, but who cares? They're all there is the point. So I'm I, just throwing this out there. I don't have a... You know, what is it? I don't have a bone in the fight. I don't really care, but I am concerned. And if I'm picking up another little boy, another young man that died in the area, because on the spirit side, they're not individuals. We are all one. You hear that everywhere. I am that I am, the power of I am. So I don't know. But I wanted to throw that out there. I'm going to pause you, get the top started, and we'll get into it. Hello, hello, welcome. Happy Father's Day. We haven't even asked a question. Welcome, if you're in the bleachers, I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for coming. We haven't even asked a question or set an intention. We'll leave it. I'm gonna leave it because I was going to ask if the why of John O'Keefe, but now I'm a little curious about Xana. So we're going to do Xana. I'm going to focus on Xana. Set the intention that all the right people who need to hear this, hear it, that I hear the right words and say the right words. And we are going to do a follow-up for Miss Xana. I just gave a rundown on the brothel. We had a real life experience um, description that I just read and that Xana has two birth dates that are four years apart. And that concerns me. I also have set sacred space called in the quarters. It's Father's Day and we're going to get this started. The card that jumped is justice. If you're in the bleachers, these this deck doesn't like to be read in reverse. The card that jumped was 
justice and the other three, eight, four, I can't see. All right, Zama, what would you like to talk about? All right, let's get the party started. The Magician. Hello, welcome again. If you're in the bleachers, this deck doesn't like to be all read in reverse. We have Justice, the Magician, the Star, the Ten of Swords, the cards that jumped, King of Swords. Justice is the underlying energy, the Magician, the Star, King of Swords, the Devil. Who is this girl? Seven of Swords, stealing lives and happiness. Ace of Wands, this is my D card, and I don't mean dollar. Okay, so right off the rip, Xana's definitely here, and we're definitely... All right, let's talk this out. So Justice, all right, we're going to start with what we know. Again, Justice, we're getting Justice for everyone. The Magician is... Not what it appears to be, smoke and mirrors. And I literally just asked if this was all propaganda and persuasion one-on-one. Hmm. Curious. The star. Put her star out. Ten of swords. This is an overkill. There is no, especially in true crime tarot, we're dealing with allegedly bodies. No one's seen them. King of Swords, this is an archetype that has meant and means to me psychopath, sociopath, and happens to also represent a living roommate who allegedly slept through a massacre. Allegedly. We have the devil. Hunter Johnson is also a devil. Liter like his birthday, he's a male Capricorn. Not going for him. I don't know if Xana had a connection to Hunter or if this is just here to remind us that we are dealing with some dark, very, I would call them dark forces. Could be a combination of everything. We have the Seven of Swords. He's a thief, stealing lives, stealing happiness. The living roommate who also coincides. The masculine and feminine, I know there's debate about her sexuality and I really honestly don't care. It makes me very uncomfortable even going that way, even talking about it. I, it's, we asked someone who's been through the process and it's just like asking someone if they're pregnant. You just don't do it. So we do this by energy and she carries a very strong masculine as well as feminine. Archetypally. We have the Okay, we don't need that anymore. We have the D card. And I don't mean dollar. <laughs> what I mean by the D card is the illusion of a rug house hidden behind other goods for sale. Well, okay. So, I also, if you're new, welcome. I don't have a specific way that I read. I don't read 10 all the time or 20 all the time. I just read intuitively. <sighs> ay, 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 yikes. Okay. This deck also doesn't like to be read in reverse for all of the expert tarot people out there that critique other people's reading. You're not welcome. <laughs> Keep your, I don't care how you read your tarot cards. This is the Six of Swords. He's leaving. Oh, we got trafficking last time. Just reminding everyone. We have the good side. This is the light side. Thank God. Thank God. We have the hermit. He is asking us to look at the light side. Who's next to the magician? who is also smoke and mirrors. 
I know this was a land grab, and I can say that confidently with 100% certainty. We have the papers to back it up. That is not a question. But like the Hawaii thing was a land grab and we know it was real, right? Like, is anyone actually in Hawaii that can confirm there are a thousand people missing or is that like a, we're going to the opera rumor. We also have the Knight of Cups and I will look at that right now. We have the moon. It was technically in reverse. Thank God we don't read these cards in reverse. I'm going to stop there because with the queen of swords, there she is. Oh, death. I will. <sighs> moon is secrets will never come out. It was technically in reverse. We have the ace of pentacles contract. New beginning with the queen of swords. This is the archetype of the living roommate that slept through the massacre, if you believe it. Do better. And we have death. Okay. We also have, I'm going to have to pause you. I have haunting duties. Just one moment. Okay, I'm back. I just had on team duties for a minute. We have, well, it's Father's Day. I, the spread that's here is still Xana. I just walked away because I needed to on. Okay. So we're going, I was using, I'm shuffling Ashley's cards and the cards that jumped are Science Experiment. She's gotten that and I've gotten that before. We also got Treason. <laughs> What is treason? And wrong way, go back. They got it wrong. Hmm. This is concerning because Oh my. What is Santa trying to tell us? And I just saw that a medium is getting her, which is good. I've never gotten her. I don't know. But I'm concerned that her birth certificates say two different people and it's weird. It's not, that's out of the norm. That's not normal. I've run about 400 background checks. I was in, I used to do work. I used to work around that stuff. So. We also have water. Back in the very, very, very beginning of this, I thought that the weapon, which I ended up, I think was golf clubs and everyone else thought was whatever. Um, I thought it was in water. I kept getting water. So we just got water. I mean, we can confidently say that there is at least one There's evidence of one person because you can see the blood soaking through the building. But it's not, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. What else does Anna want us to know? Organized crime. I've been saying that. The churches are corrupt. And if you haven't done any research and you're a Bible Belt thumper, that's wonderful for you. I'm really, really glad to hear that. The largest landowner in the world is the Catholic Church, and I grew up Catholic, so we also got revenge. That, I can definitely say. This is, I think, start close and work out. We also have Stranger. Strategy is very strategic. I don't know, you guys. I feel like I've done this three times and we're still... I guess if we're talking about archetypes, we could talk about the archetypes that are showing up. The US government, 
the smartest person in the room who was a project manager down in the tunnels is my humble opinion. We got the D card, which represents the brothel idea. We got the living roommate who slept through a massacre. I mean, if you believe that, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, to me, drink the Kool-Aid. Okay, I don't know what to say. We got the devil and the... There is someone who is involved with this case. His birthday is a Capricorn birthday, and he is the devil, literally, but not literally, just um, birthday-wise. That's a Johnson. We got death. That speaks for itself. Well, on Ashley's deck, we got confirmation that the weapon is in a body of water. We got supplier. I am telling you. Okay. We got surveillance. We know this 100% without a doubt. There is not a doubt in my mind and no one can prove me. I mean, political, we know this. Oh, PSYOP, political warfare. We've gotten this before and spouse or partner. I would definitely say that this is getting a little bit narrower for that young man who was in Africa. We have spouse or partner, and I think that we got something else that was very telling uh, about this. We got money. It's a $150 billion business to run that trafficking ring, which I did see someone said, could it be organs? Certainly, could be organs, could be people, could be product. There's a lot that I don't know what we are working with here. The Delphi girls did get that organ thing. Political. We know that, but why would they do this for a land grab? Who's it? So they bought all the land around 1122, which the street names don't add up. That's weird. I mean, these are very obvious things that to me are just saying, I mean, Google is wrong once in a while, but we all use the same maps to like get to work and stuff and they're not wrong like this. I've never had people not show up on the background check and I run a lot of them. Like I said, I work with law enforcement. It's very much a part of my little world and that's not normal at all. Ethan and Xana, Xana has her own and hers have two different birthdays on them. That's not right. And Ethan's is none of the children except for Hunter are on Stacy Chapins. That's concerning. I haven't even gotten to the other girls because the way that this is working is it's like one person at a time. That's the way it's been coming through. We are going to give voice to the father who is voiceless. We get it. We picked up the patterns. I mean, um, there are no more answers than when we started. The brothel thing is becoming more and more realistic. It's a military operation. I still think BK squared is 100% alive and I will stand on that hill. I don't think that he is off the radar, new world order. I think I don't know if this is a, this is propaganda and persuasion right out of a textbook. Yep, I oh, marriage ceremony paper trail. We're on it. Don't you worry, little guy. We've got you in trafficking. It's here again in Ashley's cards. I'm not joking. Have there are a hundred and eighty of them here. I can't even hold them all. So for us to keep getting the same ones, they're very blessed. They are wonderful. It tells me that we are certainly onto something. 
So with that, I will love you and leave you. I think it's highly suspicious. I was looking into the laws that Detective Mowry may have broken um, as an expert. Misconduct is one, perjury is another one. He didn't break them yet. When he gets called back to the stand and all of a sudden he remembers everything. He also is very highly qualified for everything that he was trying to, that he forgot, which I find just like a little sneak, like Proctor in the Boston case. That's why I was adding them together. They're just like slippery. Come to your own conclusions. I will love you and leave you. I have to go on. And I want to thank you all for coming. I want to thank the wonderful, beautiful people who leave me donations. And if you're looking for a booking, the link is in the bio. If you get confused, just shoot me an email. That's also in the bio. I'd be more than happy to coordinate and I'll send you a video link. If you don't want an express reading, you want a regular reading, also there. And all of the links are in the bio. Happy Father's Day to our fathers out there. And I love you very much. Thank you for coming. Keep those tips coming because we have an entire plethora. Thank <laughs> you.